I am the famous American and we need to discuss something. It's amazing. I haven't made a video about this. At least I'm pretty sure we've never openly had this, this discussion. So a little bit of a backstory in case you're new here and have never heard of this guy before. Here's the deal. My mom, when you look at her heritage, half of it goes back to Italy. They got off the boat around 1920. About 100 years ago, they, got, they came here from Italy, her, her grandparents, okay? The other grandparents, around the same time, 1920s, came via train, via Mexico. So that's the backstory. So literally, 50% of my mom's heritage goes to Italy, and 50 goes to Mexico. There's no other ways. That's my mom's genetic makeup. Now, my mom and I had always sensed that we were Jewish. We specifically felt connected to Jewish people. We appreciated anything that was Jewish, fascinated by Jewish people, very interested in it. It felt connected and felt we were Jewish. So my mom takes the DNA test. You would, you would suspect that in theory, at least close to 50% of her DNA would go back to Italy. You would think in theory, close to 50%. Turns out 15.2% Sephardic Jewish and only four and a half percent Italian. So definitely more Sephardic Jewish or like roughly Spanish Jewish more so than the Italian thing. And as I've been talking about that over the years and other people who are specifically Americans of Italian descent. They take these tests expecting the results to be much higher for Italian and they're not. Instead, they're higher for specifically Sephardic Jewish. So that's something I've talked openly about this, but never have I really asked this question. And so that's why I want to, that's why I want to kind of do a, a poll here for anyone who is of Italian descent, Italian heritage. You take a DNA test, it actually says that you're more Jewish than you are Italian. So if that's the case, let me know. Either way, if you're of Italian descent and you were expecting to be largely Italian, but instead you were barely Italian and you were more Jewish, I want to know about it. Because what I'm finding is, you know, and it's somewhat arbitrary and that may be an understatement as far as these DNA tests go. It's based on estimates. It's based on genetic markers. They take samples from people from a population and try to determine, you know, what's, what that genetic background looks like if we were to predict it. But obviously it's not that simple because DNA tests cannot truly respect the borders of a fairly recent nation. Some, some nations are only a little over hundred years, right? Even the United States, obviously. Other, others are ancient, but many are not. Like Germany, for example, to specifically say, oh, well, I'm 53% German. You can't really prove that because when you look at the borders, well, technically you could be French or you could be, you could even, well, it's all made up because the borders, <laughs> because the borders, that's the reason. So what is Italian? How long has Italy been a country? Overall, not that long as far as the nation as it is now, you know, there was a lot of borders being changed throughout Europe. So to specifically say, this is what it means to be Italian. I mean, it, especially if we go back to biblical days, as far as like the Roman empire, it's not like, okay, would those, those people would look the same as people today. When we think of a stereotypical person of Italian descent, like let's just say uh, Sylvester Stallone, you see that guy's like, oh yeah, he stereotypically looks Italian. What's funny though is he's roughly, I think a quarter Jewish. And he's, he's known about that. I didn't take a DNA test to get him to, to learn that. Uh, but, but it is interesting. When you see people of Italian descent, you're often looking at people who have at least the genetic markers going back to Hebrew heritage, way back, just via Europe. So let's talk about that. Leave, leave a comment. Drop a comment my way. Say, Nick, yeah, I'm of Italian descent. I thought I was going to be, you know, mostly Italian and you're right. Actually, I'm less Italian, really not that Italian at all. According to this, 
I'm more Jewish than anything. But see, that's the whole thing. Like, it's hard to, there's certain genetic markers that are harder to track down. There's been so much mixing around in Italy and the Mediterranean for so many years. They're much more mixed than say someone who's going to be from Thailand, for example, where I spent two summers teaching out there. You're gonna, you're gonna see less of a mix there than you are going to see in the Mediterranean. Mediterranean mixed. Certain parts of Asia, yes, Asian descent, but if we look at a certain genetic marker from, from China versus one from native Thai, it's not going to be quite as all over the place as it would be if you're predominantly European descent based in the Mediterranean. Your comments belong right here.